Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design tutorials. So today I have a tutorial for you in Silhouette Studio and today's tutorial is all about how to use DXF files in Silhouette Studio. So I've been getting um, a few questions about DXF files so I thought I'd just go ahead and make a quick video to show you how to use them in Silhouette Studio. So when you purchase an SVG file from a designer, it usually comes um, together with either a PNG file, sometimes a JPEG, and also a DXF file. Now the DXF file is so you can use it in Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. Um, and so this right here, is a DXF file and you can see it's not filled in. This is the SVG file um, of this file. But with the Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, you can't import SVG files. That's a limitation of the Basic Edition. So if you don't have the Designer Edition and above of Silhouette Studio, you need to use um, DXF file. This is a DXF file that I have uploaded to Silhouette Studio. And if we zoom in right here, you can see that if I click here on the O and move it, you can see that this portion of the O is not like glued together with this hole right here. When you import DXF files, they don't come with the compound paths intact. If you don't know what a compound path is, I've got a video for you right up there at the top of the screen, so you'll want to check that out. Um, but all you need to do to um, make these letters into a compound path is select like the outside of this O and the little hole and come up here to object and make compound path or the shortcut is uh, command on a Mac, control on a PC, E. So I'm just going to go com command E. And then after I do that, you can see that if I click, it moves all as one piece. Now, if you just want to cut this out and you want to cut it in all one color, you don't have to make those compound paths. You can just come over here to the send panel, make sure that everything um, looks right, make sure all the red lines look right and everything is gonna cut out correctly. And you can go and send it like this if you wanna cut it out um, all in one color. But if you don't wanna cut it out all in one color, if you want the, say the football to be um, brown and the text to be different colors, then you have to um, manipulate it uh, for the compound paths. So if we want, let's just say we want the word, um, we want the word favorite to be one color and the rest of the text to be another color. So I'm just going to select the word football and make a compound path from that, Command um, E. And then I'm gonna go down to the word season and make that a compound path and favorite. And I'm just making each um, line of text, basically it's a separate, separate line and it all moves together. So you can see that football now moves together this moves together and favorite moves together. And then same thing with the football here to make this a compound path, just select it and command E. Now what you can do is go over to the fill panel and you can fill each thing with a different color. So I'm gonna fill, um, these lines of text with black, and I'm gonna come back to this in a minute, we'll fix that. 
So I'm just going to fill these lines of text with black. And this one, I don't know, let's make that green. And then the football, make that brown. Okay, so I messed up a little bit and that's good because then we can go back and I'll show you how to fix this. So right here and here you see that these holes are not cut out and that's because I missed those when making the compound path. So all you have to do is select all of it and again object, make compound path and there you go, There, the hole is right there. And same thing with the word football, select it, object, make compound path, and there you go. So now if you come over to the send panel, you can cut by fill, and then you see you have your brown, your black, and your green over here. And so you can just turn these check marks on and off depending on what color you want to cut um, first. So that is basically the way DXF files work. Um, the main thing is that they are not, um, when you bring them into Silhouette Studio, the compound paths, you have to create the compound paths from them in order to get them to cut out in uh, different colors. Whereas an SVG file, when you bring it in, those compound paths are already intact. And so again, DXF files are used um, and offered mainly for uh, Silhouette Studio uh, basic users because you cannot import SVG files into Silhouette Studio Basic. Um, I'm not sure about Cricut Design Space. I don't have that program. I don't work with that software. So I don't really know um, if Cricut Design Space works the same way. I'm pretty sure you can use DXF files in Cricut Design Space, um, but Silhouette Studio Basic Edition, you need the DXF file and not um, the SVG file in order to cut things out. So I hope that clears a few things up. I hope that now you're able to feel comfortable using DXF files in Silhouette Studio. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And if you want more tutorials, please visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.